We all grew up playing with action figures based on television shows that we loved as a kid. But there were some television shows that we would love to have action figures of that we didn't get. Sad. So let's look at about 15 television shows from the 80s and that should have had an action figure line. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with another video. Can you believe it? It's time for another video. Now, if you haven't noticed, we shook things up this week so far. So far, it's going good, but if you hadn't, I'll tell you about it really quick. 11 a.m. Eastern, all times Eastern, 11 a.m. Pop culture in the morning. That's where we give you the latest news and action figures, movie news, kind of talk, uh, fans, chat room. We all talk together about that. And then we have a topic, like we talked about Mad Magazine. We talked about Batman. We talked about Indiana Jones. And then around 5 o'clock, the daily video, the normal video. That's the one you're watching now, the one that you really enjoy mostly. And then at night, 7 p.m. Eastern, every day we have a different... On Monday, we have Star Wars Talk. On Tuesday, we have Toy Talk. Tuesday, Wednesday, we have Whip It Out Wednesday, where Indiana Jones gets his whip out. We talk Indiana Jones. Thursday, Star Trek. Star Trek Talk on Thursday. And Fridays will be Free For All. And Fridays is probably going to be bi-weekly every other Friday. But check that out. And if you if you can't watch them live... Um, they're all the replays. Once they're live, they're gonna stay up for a little bit. Then they're gonna move over to that Jumpman live channel. Link in the description below. Trying to grow that channel so I can put the live stuff over there. That way you don't miss the important stuff. Cause the live streams are more to watch in the moment. I'm not sure how fun they'll be to watch later on, and because it's more interactive. So if you want to go to that Jumpman live if you do want to recap those shows. And in fact, just go right in and watch them. That way I can get my view hours up so I can put ads on. Just go in there and let them play throughout the day. Uh, whew, calm down, junk man. Whew, calm down. Okay, we're wasting so much of your time now. I'm going to skip over, you know, telling you about Patreon, YouTube support, telling you about this new shirt we got at junkmanmerch.com. Uh, we're just going to get on to this video here. Now, focus canceled. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know all these new cameras, guys. Sorry about that. I feel like I'm really low down, too. Cancel, focus. Am I focused? Fuck, I hope I'm focused. Okay, where were we? Okay, you know, I did a video yesterday. Check it out if you didn't check it out. It's about a guy that went into somebody's attic and found the craziest Star Wars stuff still in the box. I couldn't believe it. I was so mad. He also found a Mickey Mantle baseball card. If I found that Mickey Mantle baseball card, I would have said, who the hell is Mickey Mantle? <sighs> I, am, I feel like I just had a bunch of caffeine or something today. Okay, let's get to it here. We're going to look at now some rules first. So I don't want to hear it from you in the comment section. I don't want to hear. Uh, oh, Junk Man, they made a can they made a they made one figure that hey Junk Man, that action figure was released in Brazil. I'm talking about a television show and they didn't have an action figure line from it. Not that they didn't have one figure from it. Not that Brazil didn't do something that looked like it, a knockoff of it, or something like that. And I don't even want to hear Junk Man. That Super 7 did that shit. If I'm talking about at the time. Not something that was made 27 years after the show went off the air. We're talking, growing up, watching the show when it was new. Why didn't we get action figures for it? So are you ready? We're going to start with one of the best, one of the greatest. The Fall Guy. Remember that? The Fall Guy. I mean, come on. Kenner already had molds with Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. Lee Majors. They could just took it over. And we could have got a Howie action figure. What wouldn't you give back then for a Howie action figure? That would have been awesome, man. A Howie action figure. And we've got a Heather Thomas, almost a luck player, Heather Thomas action figure. <sighs> you could get her in her bikini. And think of all the things this could have came with, all the accessories that would have made it awesome. Of course, you got the cool truck, but you could. he was, he was the unknown stuntman that made Eastwood look so fine. Oh, man, he was in love with Cheryl Teagues. Anyway... All the playsets, you could have stunt playsets, man. That would have been awesome. Why didn't we get the Fall Guy action figure line? I'll never, never understand. And here's another one I tell you about it. You're going to say, Jumpman, that's stupid. I know why we didn't get that. That's a comedy. But hey, we got MASH action figures. Why didn't we get WKRP in Cincinnati action figures? Well, I know you're saying, Jumpman, that's stupid. Who would want that? It's not fun. Let me explain it. You'll say, okay, that's pretty cool. What if it had the play sets that connected? Three, let's say three different play sets or four. You could have the main office. 
You know, they all see you have Lonnie Anderson right there at our desk. Maybe it came with an exclusive Lonnie Anderson figure. Maybe and then your dad would buy it for you because guys loved Lonnie Anderson back in the 80s. Even Burt Reynolds loved her for a few years. I was more of a Bailey fan, to be honest with you. I like Bailey. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know what that says about Lonnie Anderson. I don't know what it says about Bailey or what it says about Burt Reynolds. But I'm sure there's some psychiatrist out there somewhere that's probably thinking what it says to him. Anyway, I wasn't a big fan of Louie Anderson. <laughs> Lonnie Anderson. Hey, they look alike. Sue me. Anyway, he could have had that playset come with a Lonnie Anderson. And maybe it connects to the DJ booth where they do the records. And you have a little table and have Dr. Johnny Fever in there with a little microphone that hangs down in his face. That he maybe push a button and he says, booger. Right? And then you can have Mr. Carlson. Mr. Carlson. Not when he played the molester on different strokes, but you could have his little office back there. And who knows? Maybe you can have the other office where you have Les Nessman. And he could have his invisible doors. Remember he had invisible walls because he didn't have a door? Maybe you could do a chase figure, a variance figure, Mr. of uh, Mr. Uh, Les Nessman. Where he has a different band-aid. Oh, I got the Les Nessman with the band-aid on the head. I got one with the elbow. Band-Aid. Who knows? There's so many possibilities. Why didn't we get WKRP in Cincinnati at your figurines? That's what I want to know. Woo! Man, I am on something today. Okay. Here's one. This is when you go to the... Uh, you want me to pause it so you can get your keyboard ready to say, They did make that. Alf. Go ahead. Tell me. They made Alf toys. They made Alf dolls. They made Alf merchandise. Go ahead. Okay, there. I'm talking an action figure line, not just Alf. I want that. I want that. The girl, the, the daughter. I don't know any of these people's name. The little boy, the little redheaded boy. I don't know his name. Willie. I know his name. Love the dad on that show. The mom, Mrs. Otmonic, who later on go be Seinfeld's mom. You can have all that. You can even have the later years when that little Mexican boy moved next door. Don't remember his name either. You could even have the cat. Remember the cat he always wanted to eat. Sure, we got some out products released. Dolls and maybe a little racers and maybe, maybe a figurine. I can't remember. Figurine. I hate that word. Uh, but overall, we didn't get a line based on the TV show. Give us them all. The Tanner family is what we wanted. Why didn't we get it? And here's one I would have loved. And you, they did make some figures for this, kind of. I mean, Gaslight released them in Brazil. So I don't really count them. They didn't literally look like anything from the show. T.J. Hooker. Man, I love T.J. Hooker growing up. Uh, my brother, you know, loves Star Trek. I watched it too, but to me, William Shatner was T.J. Hooker. And it, where does T.J. Hooker, James T. Kirk, he must love those initials, J.T. or T.J. But I would have loved a line of action figures based on T.J. Hooker. Heather Thomas, this time, not, I mean, Heather Locklear. God, I get the Heathers mixed up. Heather Locklear. Of course, Adrian Jemez would have been a great figure. Um, I don't know, the old man that was like the chief that later became George Costanza's boss. Man, they all, everybody run, comes back to Seinfeld, don't they? I mean, you had the boss on T.J. Hooker became George Costanza's boss. The boss on uh, WKRP was on Seinfeld. And I talked about somebody else a few minutes ago I said was on Seinfeld also. I don't remember who that was. I don't forget. Oh, Mrs. Armani from ALF. All three of the shows we talked, one, two, three, all, well, three of the four we talked about so far have been linked back to Seinfeld. Isn't that crazy? But why didn't we get a T.J. Hooker action figure line? I mean, we got chips. If we can do chips, if we can get a punch figure, we should have at least got a good T.J. Hooker, William Shackner. And again, Mego could have done it. They had the molds. Uh, Wonder Woman, one of the biggest hits of the 70s. How did it not have an action figure line? This was right for action figure lines. I mean, you had Batman on TV and you had Batman toys. Well, I guess you did have Wonder Woman toys, but they wasn't based on the television show. We should have had Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! We should have had Wonder Woman shows. Wonder Woman! We should have had toys based on Wonder Woman. Oh, I love that. Oh, I used to go outside and do that spin around. Be like I was Wonder Woman. I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, Wonder Woman. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna knock everything down. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna. Okay, calm down, Johnny. Calm down, Johnny. Serenity now. Serenity now. Who 
Coochie Mama. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, here's a, here's a cartoon one we should have got. And again, we did get them later in the late 90s, and they were pretty damn cool. But it would have been awesome to have them back in the day. Speed Racer. Racer X. I love Racer X. But we should have had Speed Racer toys. Oh, Speed uh, Mark. Mark V. They did a badass one in the 90s. I love that one. I used to have it. I don't even want to go back and get it. I love that car. Really great detail. But they should have done Speed Racer toys back in the 80s. It would have been great. I know you're saying, John, man, the show came up before that. I'm talking 80s. So that would have been a really, really great line that I think I have. I mean, you had, what, Chim Chim and the, the Monkey and the Little Boy, Pops. It was right for a action figure line. And here's another cartoon series. Came on Saturdays that we didn't get an action figure line, but we got a ton of Smurfs. Can you believe we didn't ever get an action figure line based on the cartoon? I'm talking cartoon here. Dungeons and Dragons. Now that's another one. I mean, that was that was aimed for boys about the right age to buy action figures. Or right around, the, you know, 10 or 11. It was perfect setup. I mean, every other cartoon almost turned into an action figure line. Why not? Dungeons and Dragons. It's beyond me why they didn't make Dungeons and Dragons figures back then in the 80s when the show was new. And here's one. This one, if you put in the comments that you don't agree with me, I kind of, uh, I can understand. But at least personally, I would probably have wanted this one right here. A line of Laugh Olympics action figures. I love watching Laugh Olympics. And you could have them come with cars and everything. Um, you know, maybe not an action figure line, maybe like a Hot Wheels line that had the figure inside, maybe molded inside so you couldn't take them out. That would have been cool too, but you remember Laugh Olympics with that grape ape, the good team, the bad team, the okay team, I guess, one always cheating. <sighs> Didn't you love that grape ape? It was so funny, man. I love that. So we'll, let's see what else we're going to talk about. Oh. Star Blazers. There was no action figure line based on Star Blazers. How can I say I had a good childhood if I didn't have Star Blazers action figures? Now, I'm not going to sit there and tell you they should have made this guy, this guy, that girl, that girl, that girl. Because I don't remember anybody's name on the show. I remember that theme song. Great theme song. And I remember that ship. But other than that, I just remember liking the show, so I can't. But it would look cool. I'm sure they made toys since then, I hope at least. And I'm sure it's called something else in some other country. But here in America, I called it Star Blazers. And I'm sure you did too. Uh, here, let's go back to another comedy. Like I said, they made MASH figures. They almost made Dallas figures. Who wanted that? Nobody. You can see why they canceled. They actually made Walton figures. What about Bism Buddies action figures? You could have had Tom Hanks in drag. Right now, you could have on your toy shelf Tom Hanks in drag. Not to mention that other guy that looked like Barney Rubble. But I can't think of his name. He, he looked like a TV's version of Rick Moranis. I, he's like poor man's Rick Moranis. Whatever it is. I forget his name right now. So somebody would tell me. Bism Buddy. You could have done. I mean, you could have got four figures right there. You could have had the two main main guys in their male outfits. And female outfit figures also. Ripe for the picking right there. Whatever toy is that could have turned down Bism Buddy's action figures. They didn't know what they were doing, man. Leave me alone. This is my life. Okay, let's go into the 90s more. This is more of the 90s and not talking the movie. We're talking a television show because it lasted a couple of seasons. So I think it was right for an action figure line. And at this time, you had Deep Space Nine action figures. You had Star Trek action figures from the 90s. You had all the action shows of the 90s had an action figure line from it. Well, what about Highlander, the series? Remember... The show to go around the guy's wearing a ponytail and he's like Highlander. He's like I'm the last of the immortals and cuts people's heads off. I know it doesn't sound like something for kids, but they made a lot of toy lines not for kids, and it's probably no darker than some Star Trek episodes. And Star Trek actually was a huge seller. So why didn't we have Highlander? Now you're saying, well, what about Highlander the movie? We're not doing the top movies that didn't get action figures. We'll save that for another time. We're talking TV shows, and they should have been action figures based on the Highlander. If you ask me personally. Now, here's two I'm going to talk about here that I guess I can see they didn't do figures because the show failed. But I think if they had an action figure line ready to go when the show was ready to go, it would have helped the show out. It would have got kids more interested in it. And this one here is a superhero power show called Power of Matthew Starr. Didn't last long. It's probably more famous now for being canceled early, being a bomb than it is for anything else. But I think if you had 
action figure line if you had a Matthew Starr and his co-host co-host and his friends ready to go for the launch of the show you could have had success with the show released the figures a little earlier kids would have been like who is this Matthew Starr oh there's a horrible name for a show they probably would have to change the title of the show but they could have had the figures ready to go and it would have been awesome and what about the other one Voyager and what about Voyage Voyage Voyager Voyager Voyager, sorry, sorry, I can't talk. Voyagers. Now, this show was canceled really early. I don't remember much about it. I just remember it had that boy with that afro curly hair I didn't like, seeing my lot of stuff back in the 80s. But again, I think if being a type of show, science fiction show, if they had action figures a few months before the show did, it would have built an excitement for kids if the toy line was good and we would have been begging for the show. At least that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. So we got two more to look at, two more. And here, still in the 90s, this is a science fiction show. And I love this show. I think it lasted maybe two seasons. Didn't last long. Don't hear anyone talk about it. Don't know why. I really enjoyed it. Earth 2. Now, of course, Playmates did, like I said, deep space, uh, they did Sequest action figures. And this came on right after Sequest. So it'd be a good, if Playmates could do them, they could have had an Earth 2 series ready to go. We should have got Earth 2. Uh, I love that show. I don't know, anyone remember Earth 2? It was really good. I should bring that back. Reboot that. And number one, action figure line from a television show that should have been made. That should have been made. You know I'm going to say it. You know, you know I'm going to say it. Riptide. Come on, Riptide. Now, sure, maybe Simon and Simon would have been a good line. A great, real Magnum line would have been good more than just having Dan Magnum. But Riptide, who wouldn't want an action figure line based on the most popular, most successful to show, I almost said toe, most successful show of the 80s. I don't understand how you can have the most popular show, the highest rating show of every year of the 80s, and not one damn action figure line from it. I think they did maybe the helicopter or something. Makes no sense to the junk man. Anyway, that's a look at 15 shows that I wish had an action figure line back in the 80s. Some of them were the 90s. Uh, and as again, live stream. Don't forget pop culture in the morning, 11 a.m. Monday through Friday. And then at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. at night, another live stream. And then another normal video throughout the day. So head over to the Dead Junk Man Live. Subscribe to that channel. Help that channel out so we can... Uh, Start putting everything on there. That way you won't get confused. You'll know where to go for the live. And you'll know where to go for the re-recorded stuff like this right here. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys. We hit 20,000 this week. We give them away at Death Star Sundays, the deadline to enter that. So, make sure you enter it. But I want to thank you guys again for the 20,000. It means a lot to me. It really, really does. So, uh, let me know in the comments below. Some action figures from a toy line you wish they made. Some action figures from a TV show you wish they made, I should say. Let me know that and more in the comments below. And until the next video, we'll talk again. Hey, jump that channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.